Hi everyone, this is Kiwi Nina Mori, and I'm going to do a body review for the new Amadis Studio Yolan Boy Body. Okay. So, I ordered this body in the Milky Skin Resin color, and I did some body blushing on my own, so he looks a little more pinker toned than what um, he is in person, or what you will get if you order that resin. But, um, so this body... They sit on the website, it's about 65, 66 centimeters. It is pretty tall. It's really close to what my um, Dolls Town 17 year old boy body is. So it's, it's definitely on the higher end of 66, 67 centimeters once you have a head on it. And right. so this body is definitely jointed in so many ways. Um, he is de definitely double jointed in his arms. He has the, the mobility joints in his thighs. And they have a nice little hook here to keep it to lock. Is the double jointed knees. And his leg and his feet kind of actually, you can actually put them flat. So that's pretty good for like this position. This body did come with several other hands and feet. So these are the regular hands he has. They're just kind of casual and just real, sort of relaxed. Well, um, they have the option of getting the Amadeus, Amadeus hands, which are like more expressive. And they kind of look like a uh, Vini 2 hands. And I blushed mine as well to match with the rest of the body. But they're definitely like more surprised. And he comes with ballet feet. So this is on point. And then they also have the male high heel feet, which both of these extra feet are pretty rare for male dolls in the hobby, which is definitely why I wanted him because he's this body is more unique than what I've seen in the marketplace. And it's so androgynous because it's not overly muscular. Um and the the posing is beautiful. I, I keep seeing other owner photos and he just he just moves so fluidly. Um, I'm gonna have to take photos of different positions, but it's very, and he's strung so well. So he just, he holds everything nice. It's a really casual one. So he can move his back pretty far back. So there's nothing there that's going to keep him from leaning it all the way back. And he can lean up. He can crouch forward a bit there. But he has pretty wide range of motion. I think they, they definitely meant it to be very expressive because he they they show sort of like a ballerina feel for him, a dance a dancer or a, they have like a celebrity type um like a singer, like just people who are definitely known for moving around a lot, having choreography and he holds that very nicely. So he can, so he can do the traditional Japanese sitting. Lock that. Either cross his legs to do it, or just prop him up. But that's that's pretty straight for for what you get with the sitting. He's not leaning like that awkwardly. And that's that's pretty good <laughs> for sitting plus he sits straight up and I know like some dolls they kind of like to do the tilt back thing or lean forward or you kind of have to prop their their chest piece forward so they can sort of balance when they're sitting but he does this pretty well without much effort I don't really have to move him around too much to get him to stay in his positions 
um, he, he is pretty impressive. <laughs> like, <laughs> definitely the best body I have in my group that poses well. Um, he, and he's, he's kind of, uh, a little slim, but it's definitely a little thicker than just, like, resin soul. Um, I would say around an average 65 to 62 ish boy it's like he's just slightly thicker than my um a Kagi doll 66 centimeter boy body and but he is thinner than like the dolls town 17 year old boy body so he could he can fit a wide range of clothing so this particular resin it's not great for hybriding because it's an off-white color so the milky tone is literally it's a little it's a little more normal than white skin that that is off-white so I think um I'll probably just stick with his original head I, I really like his original head so I got it a face up done by Chino Tinchi and I'll show in another video what he looks like in his full outfit and his head with the wig and I will do some hybriding videos with the body for people who are curious of what type of heads might look good on this body. You'll probably have to go with a different resin color, probably like the peach normal. Um, I haven't seen any resin matches for the tan skin because I know only like a few people who have bought the tan skin for the Amadeus Studio Boy, but well, oh, the girl I've seen. I have not seen the tan body yet for any of the boys. So if anyone knows, People who have them in a different resin color. I would really like to see photos too of see the options because I, I do plan to get another Amadeus Studio uh, doll in the future if they release again. They know they recently did a re-release uh, about like a month or two ago. But I was, I still just got this guy so I was like, okay, I'm just going to bask in him before I commit to another one. Play around with him, see if I want to commit to another one. But this one, I definitely want to commit to another. And so this has been the body review, and I hope it was very helpful for some of you who are interested in getting this body in the future, or if you have it and you're waiting on yours to be delivered, this can be something to look forward to. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all later again.